Today in the news, AMD has something old made new, and the trifecta of companies are gearing up for the entry-level GPU market. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your Boot Sequence. Before that, let me take a second to thank today's video sponsor, WhoKeys. WhoKeys is where you can buy keys like this one for Windows 10 Pro. Get yourself a license with that link down in the description and click buy now and enter the code BTS25 for 25% off. And then you just submit your order. And once you're through with your payment and you receive your key, go to your computer, click on the Windows button, type in activate and update or change your product key. It's that simple. Let's get started with AMD. In case you haven't noticed, the company kind of skipped a relatively good product segment in their latest CPU generation. From Ryzen 1000 to Ryzen 3000, the company always released a quad-core model with the latest Zen architecture. This generation though, all we got were four models ranging from six to 16 cores. Now, yes, they did release an APU with four cores, the 5300G, but that has graphics. What if you don't need graphics? Well, it seems like you're out of luck. According to a post on Chip Hell, though, made by a user who has posted exclusive photos of AMD products before, well, he says that AMD is planning to launch a couple of APUs without graphics. I mean, I don't even know if we should still call them APUs at this point. Now, he says, and I quote, in terms of releases for next year, we have new AMD Zen 2 product, Renoir X, non-core display, AM4, roughly the same specifications as Ryzen 4000G, there may not be R7 and used to correspond to Intel i3. So he's essentially saying that uh, an R5 and R3 models uh, are gonna come out, which correspond to a quad and a six core CPU. Non-core display means none, or at least uh, the GPU cores will be disabled, which means that we'll finally get a quad core non-APU product. It's a little bit weird since uh, AMD already has Zen 2 quad cores, notably the 3300X and 3100. But thanks to it being from an APU, you won't get any of the latency issues from these CPUs and the Infinity Fabric and memory will be able to clock much higher. That's because there's no uh, chiplet design. Hopefully those come in with a slightly higher clock speed too because Intel isn't waiting around. The blue team's quad core have just been tested or at least an engineering sample of it. And it's pretty impressive. We're talking about the uh, Core i3-12100 here, and according to XFastest, who managed to snag a sample, it's faster than both the 3100 and the 3300X from AMD. In Cinebench R23 especially, the 12100 has a multi-core score of 8474. That's 26% faster than the 3300X. In single core, well, it's nearly 30% faster with a score of 1649. That's nothing to scoff at. In PC Mark, as you can see, it once again reigns supreme in the quad core segment. XFastest also tested the CPUs in gaming. They used synthetic benchmarks like uh, Fire Strike and Time Spy, and they used real world like CSGO and Cyberpunk. It once again beats the competition. But here it ranges from an odd stalemate in Cyberpunk, there's gotta be something wrong here, to an 18% performance lead in the same game when RT and DLSS are enabled. If this CPU is at $99 or under, and Intel finally releases their non-OC motherboards for cheap, then this CPU looks like a pretty good catch. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Next up, we got Nvidia in the news. The RTX 2060 12 gig has finally been confirmed, both by an Nvidia driver and also by Nvidia themselves. You can find the specs for the GPU directly on Nvidia's website now. As is, it's exactly the specs that we had. 2176 CUDA cores, 12 gigs of GDDR6 clocked at the same 14 gigabits per second as the original 2060. The base clock do get a nice little boost though. Now, what you're probably wondering about is its price. Well, The Verge received a statement from an NVIDIA spokesperson which said that it is a premium version of the RTX 2066 gig and we expect the price to reflect that. Really? 
damn it, Nvidia. This means that it will cost more than 299 US, which was the final MSRP of the RTX 2060. Now, of course, in our current climate, this price means nothing, but still, it's going to increase the damned scalper price. I guess that we'll have to wait and see how it performs. Once again, the release date should be on December 7th. Also, in GPU news, it looks like all three companies are now thinking about the entry level market. From Nvidia, we were waiting for the uh, RX 6500 XT and 6400. These have been found by Komachi and Saka over on Twitter. It's based on Navi 24 and is said to have 4 gigabytes of GDDR6. Then there's Intel with their Alchemist GPU. Tom Apisak over on Twitter has released some preliminary specs for the A380, that's the model number. It would support 300 80 execution units and has a clock speed of 2.45 gigahertz. It would also support 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 and will have a GTX 1650 super level of performance. Not to hate on the Intel, but that would be a pretty low bar in terms of performance. Let's hope that it's a mobile chip and that the desktop version will have more memory and maybe higher frequencies. I don't know. And lastly, we got Nvidia with their RTX 3050. Copite 7 Kimi, legendary leaker in the last year, says that the RTX X3050 will be based on G8106 and it will have 8 gigabytes of GDDR6. That's a lot of memory, at least compared to, you know, what Nvidia has done with the other cards in the last year and a half. According to the rumors, the RTX 3050 would beat the 1660 Super in terms of performance, but fall short of an RTX 2060. Now, when exactly all those GPUs will show, we don't know yet, but it sure as hell won't be in 2021. Anyways, guys, that was pretty much it for today's video. Look, new set, right? It's, it's pretty cool. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. I don't have a table.